My name's Scott Peterson. You don't know me yet, but I want you to know that God's calling me to be your next worship minister. Let me tell you a little bit about myself. I'm a modern day Israelite. Like my namesakes, I knew who God was. I'd even seen him work in my life. I had experienced actual miracles. He brought me through events and disasters, mostly of my own making, that I would not have survived without him. Yet still, I clung to pieces of my old life. Unwilling to surrender entirely to the God I claimed as Lord and Savior, I was destined to wander aimlessly catching only fleeting glimpses of the life that he so desperately wanted to give me. The Israelites lost sight of God and chose a golden calf to worship. Alcohol was my idol of choice. Though I appeared to be a religious Christian man to many outsiders, I led a secret alcoholic life that was becoming less and less of a secret. God finally brought me to the western bank of the Jordan, a place called Teen Challenge a strangely named place for a man my age, but undoubtedly the place that God had destined me to come. During the year I've spent camped along this riverbank, God has become the driving force in my life. He has clearly revealed the purpose and calling He's placed in me. He has shown me that my journey to this point was the foundation for His plan. He has stirred a hunger deep inside me to complete this journey that He placed in front of me. All my life, God has always given me everything I need. But for a long time, I couldn't recognize the gifts or the source. When God opened my eyes and ears fully to what He was offering me, it seemed impossible that I had missed it so long. Hidden in plain sight were unending love, grace, mercy, and freedom from the bondage that had held me so long. How could I have been so blind? hold on the concept of worship that the true God required of them. He wasn't asking them merely to bow before him and offer token sacrifices as they did to their other gods. He requires us to fear him, live according to his will, to love and worship him with all our heart and soul. Worship as a lifestyle, not a prescripted event. My calling is to bring believers and seekers to true worship through corporate gatherings, which loudly and publicly pay tribute to our Creator, through small group settings, where people learn what intimate worship through lifestyle is all about, and through the importance of praising and thanking God in every circumstance. Well, that's the story of my journey to date. I'm making my move, following God across the Jordan and stepping into the next leg of this journey. If this video somehow touched your life, and convinced you that I'm the worship minister you've been looking for. I'll see you soon. If not, I'll see you when we both reach our final destination. Thanks for watching.